Hello everybody, welcome to episode 12 of Duck's World. I am Duck, and right off the bat, we have something to take care of. Because as I was preparing uh, to record, a creeper blew up and filled a hole, or made a hole, and now I've got to fill it up. So we're going to do this real quick, um, and then we are, what are we going to do is we're going to finish up draining the base. Um, as I alluded to at the end of last episode, I actually have the cross sections that I need to fill up. Um, with sand so we're gonna be working on that today as well as getting so probably some of the terraforming around the southern edge of the base done so I'm gonna finish up this hole f finish repairing these houses and then we'll be ready to go so like I had mentioned in the last clip uh, the crosshairs here have um, have water in them so there was actually an oversight in the way that I filled filled in my base and so if you come through, there's just plenty of space for uh, for water to still exist. So what I'm I, what I'm struggling to do is get out of this. But what what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to get rid of that through draining of sand. Now because some of this is already some of this sand is sand has already been placed. I'm just going to dig where I know that there's no water, and I'm just going to use that sand to to um. To fill in the gaps here and not do that hopefully very much <laughs> um, but I'm gonna just drain out the water and I'll catch you when that's all done so now we've got all these cross sections filled up with gravel dirt cobblestone etc to drain out the water um, we now have all of the water on the top half of the base all taken care of now, the bottom half is a different story because it was an underwater cave that I ran into when digging out the bottom of the base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep real quickly and I'm going to go down there and see what I can do about draining it. Although I might just have to wait and get sponge at some point to, to deal with it since it's a pretty, pretty substantial amount of water. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go right down um, and I ended up putting this water column down here so I don't have to keep falling down and having only half a heart left by the time I get down to the basement as I did a couple times last episode. So we get down here and then this center center section here by all these mobs is uh, where we've got some issues. Now I'm going to try to get away from this creeper the best I can before I show you what's going on here. But I'm not sure how well I can do that. <laughs> um, but this section all he through here is an underwater cave. Um, and there's really nothing I can do about it besides either mine it all and fill it with sand like I did up, up at the top of the base. Or I just get sponges and hold off on it. Um, but I'm not sure which one I'm going to do yet. So I'm going to hold off for that for now. But one thing I'm going to do is I am going to get torches to light this place up. And then we're going to probably do a little bit more digging around this perimeter here, just that it's a little bit easier uh, to kind of grasp how much I need to I need to drain. So I'm going to quickly run to the base, get stuff for torches, and I will be right back. So now that we have, frankly, too many torches made, um, I'm just going to make sure that every area possible down here is lit up so I don't have to deal with, don't have to deal with those, uh, st stupid mobs again. Um, and then I'm actually not sure how I want to handle this. I was going to maybe just dig some of it out, but I'm not sure that that's what I want to do right now. Um, I might want to try to, f try to find a way to either A just work around the water or be find a way to drain it however I am not prepared to go looking for sponges in a uh, ocean monument that just seems way out of my skill set at the moment so I'm just going to place these what blocks I do have left um, place these here so that I can just kind of manage what's going on here without the water um, so this is not going my way well. <laughs> um, there. there. We can do that. 
and then that, and then just work it across. Um, I'm just doing this right now so I can be a little bit more mobile. Um, working with flowing water is stupid. Uh, <laughs> and um, having the ability to just stop, it makes it a whole lot easier. Um, but after I get this all situated, I will let you know what exactly I'm planning on doing for this water. So as I was digging the final edge of the perimeter at the bottom of the base, I ran into this cave system, which I started lighting up and getting rid of the skeletons and zombies for. And I realized that there are some, uh, some pockets of iron. So I'm going to actually get distracted a little bit probably. And this might even be a regrettable decision, but I'm going to light it up and see what we've got in terms of um, ores. Now, I'm probably not going to go and light up all of this because it seems like there's quite a bit down here. But it's good that we have at least access down here to a, a cave system. And we're going to run away, first of all, from those creepers. And then we're going to get some of the iron that I found earlier. So um, I'll see you in a minute after I deal with these guys. So here's some of this iron that I did find. Um, and there's quite a substantial amount, which is always good. Um, I'm always in need of iron because I have no other uh, ore for armor yet. And gold armor sucks. So we've got this here to worry about. Um, I'm not sure how far I'm going to go down here just because I don't want to die. And I also don't want to have to deal with... Uh, too many of these mobs just because my durability on my armor is not the greatest um so i'm going to play much more um reserved than i usually do a little bit more conservative with my uh my life and my risk taking um but i am going to grab this lapis because at some point i am going to want to do enchanting hopefully um i'm just not to that point yet um, so I am going to go down, which I may regret. I don't know. It kind of depends. Um, but we are going to make our way down here um, to light this up. That was stupid. Uh, this caving expedition got infinitely harder now. Now, because I've got to do item retrieval. I was fighting a zombie and my shield was let down and a creeper just happened to be there so we're going to have some fun retrieving our items um because i was pretty far back and i well, as soon as i get my stuff if i get my stuff i'm not going back there that's that's it i'm going to just take it take it where it is there and not worry too much more about mining or whatnot I don't like going in here without anything but the way that I've set my spawn I have no no way to get any armor or anything so I'll re try to retrieve my stuff and you guys will know in a second how that goes so we did get all our stuff back no no issues there um, just had to fight off the zombie that I was trying to work with before but that wasn't a big deal so now I'm actually going and collecting coal and iron in in uh, some fairly lit up places the places that I had gone to right off the bat which did did do me pretty well um, I mean I've got some iron I've got some coal so I guess I didn't do too badly I don't think um, I will say that I'm not going to be searching for diamonds anytime soon um, because this is where I was. I was down here, and if we just unbox this, there is a whole nother section of cave that I'm not even going to touch. And it goes down, It this cave system is all over the place, um, which is exciting because now I can look for diamonds in a place that's close to the base, so I don't have to go too far away. Um, but that also means that I gotta, you know, deal with mobs again um and i mean there's more out this way there's stuff all over the place um in terms of caves so it's fairly exciting um one thing that i did see that i'm not seeing now is there was redstone ore that i wanted to grab 
um, but I'm not seeing it, uh, which means I might have to come back for that. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Just because I need I need redstone at some point, um, because I am wanting to do some redstone builds in the base once I get enough knowledge there for it. Um, so, yeah, that that's that's a big thing for me is getting some redstone prepared. Um, but this is mostly a water-filled cave, so there's not going to be too many mob spawns. So that's that's exciting at least. So I'm got a little bit more confidence going in here, except that it does open up, um, and there's no way that I don't die here. But um, yeah, it looks like there's a lava pool over there at some point because <laughs> of the light down there. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but I'm just going to light this up and then I'm going to actually come back to here. I'm not going to fill this in. I was going to cover, just cover this whole cave system up, but that doesn't seem very wise to me. Um, so I think I'm just going to leave it for now and come back later when I'm a little bit more prepared. Because if you look at my armor, my boots and leggings are pretty well shot and I'm not trusting of a creeper explosion to not absolutely destroy them um so i'm just going to try to stay as much out of it as possible um but at the same time i'm also still greedy and want to see what there is that's water what did i expect um <laughs> but i'm gonna kind of weigh my make my way back to the base and I actually might start smelting this iron up at the uh, furnaces that I have around. That didn't, I didn't want to do. Um, but I'm going to get there eventually, and we'll just see what we can, do, what else we can do for base work today. So as I'm making my way back and finding dead ends all over the place, I am going to say that I'm thinking I might want to do. At a later time a just a cave exploration episode just to, to gather resources and stuff like that um, because I do think that this would be quite exciting for an episode even though I'll probably die a lot um, I feel like this would be something I would enjoy doing um, so let me know in the comments if you want um, a cave exploration episode um, because that is always something I'm up to just like I'm up to killing this zombie um, but yeah let me please let me know because um if you guys would enjoy that i think i would like to make that because i i want to entertain you guys um but at the same time that sounds fun to me even though it might be a very interesting episode <laughs> but other than that i'm just collecting iron and getting lost so i will probably just i just was that way um was it this way yeah, I was that way too. Um, oh, well, hello there, sir. I'm going to try to find my way out of here because that would be helpful, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, <laughs> um, and I will be back momentarily. So as we're leaving the cave, I found a new problem. Um, I was trying to take a screenshot of the cave and my function key broke on me. So... I'm trying to play without it, which is okay for the temporary time being. Um, however, this is going to be very difficult to do for any permanent scenario. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get out of here and then I'm going to take a break and figure out what's going on. Um, if I can figure out what's going on because I don't know how to play without being able to see what I'm doing, which is never fun. Um, but um, somewhere, we should be close to the base, I think. Um, where, are we, where are we? That's not good. Um, no, this is definitely a dead end, I think. Um, let me see. What's my pickaxe? My pickaxe is at two. Um, Where is this going? I really thought that I was around here. Um, hmm.
so I guess not. Um, so I lost and I don't know how to use my items, so this is going to be fun. Um, but I will let you know when I get back, if I get back, um, the status of my situation. So after a long time of just trying to find where I'm going, I'm leaving the cave system here. I still don't have any way of seeing what I'm doing. Um, so it's re really just a disaster. Seven's the torch. Um, but I'm just going to try to find the surface somehow. Um, probably through water by the looks of it. Um, no, nope, nope, nope. I'm going to drown there before I get through. No, I can't see how far I am. Don't, don't do this. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Let me in. Come on. No, 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 no. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Not like this, not like this. Crap. Oh, crap. Does this work yet? Yes, finally. Finally, I've got this back. However, I have no idea where I drowned. Um, so I'm going to go find my stuff now. Uh, this is just one disaster after an, after another of an episode. But we're going to go see what we can do. And we got to go fast because I don't know where it was. And I don't know how long I've got. So um, I'll see you in a second if I can get my stuff again. That was no reason to cut. I Just out of instinct. I came out right here. Which is just painfully stupid. Because I pillared up. And I just went the wrong direction. So I pillared up from here, because this is this this right here is the cave. I pillared up and didn't look behind me and just went right into the water. But I still didn't get all my stuff, so there's still stuff in the water. But that's just that's that's ridiculous. I'm mad about that. Um, so I'm gonna go get my stuff. Um, I don't even have my pickaxe. All the stupid stuff's floating. Crap. This, I, the one thing about Minecraft that doesn't ever make any sense is why does stuff have to explode out when, when you die? That makes absolutely zero sense. Also, sorry for the weird clip cuts. It's, it's just how the, how the thing works um, with my recording software and my style. They're probably wasn't a reason for me to cut there but just out of habit i went to do it after i finished what i wanted to stay to say um but now i've got to be fast oh, i don't see much else let's see what we're missing here okay um i'm missing all my armor um and all the iron, all the stuff that I, I got some iron here, but all the stuff that I collected is pretty well gone. Um, so we're just going to have to see what we've got here. Um, and like I said before, I think I'm going to do a caving episode um, just to better explore what were, what was going on in those caves. Uh, it's all up here. So there's that. Get, get out of here quickly and we'll see what else. So we got the chest plate. We got the chest plate. And food. And, and the rest of the torches. And some copper. I'm still missing all of my armor. Good to know. Um, quite frankly, I'm starting to regret um, how some of my stuff was how my base was built because this underwater lake I can run so it's going to be a pain in the butt um, to get stuff from um, to get stuff to not only get rid of it but also just in general I've got to deal with the underwater lake um, <laughs> but there we got some more stuff there's my those are my leggings I don't see my helmet um so, I'm missing that. I'm not necessarily sure how big of a priority that is. I'm going to go one more time and look for it. Because um, I did get plenty of iron. So, if I need to make a new one, I can do that perfectly fine. Um, but it's still something that I kind of am sad about. But I don't see it. And 
Um, it's not worth getting. I don't also don't see this redstone. I had a lot of redstone here, and I don't see it. Um, so I guess I'm just going to have to give up on that, unfortunately. But I'm going to go back up to the surface and start smelting the iron so we can replace some of that equipment. And after that, we'll see what we can do from there. So now that we have some of the iron smelted, um, I can go ahead and make myself a new helmet. Um, I'm also going to have to make myself a new iron axe. I didn't see that that had gone um, in that situation, but it is gone. Um, so I'll just need to one, two, three, and leave those there for now. Oh, I can't leave those there. Okay, well, <laughs> um, after we get that situated, I think... I'm stupid, I just made two iron axes. I was meant to make a shovel. Oh, crap. Well, we've got two iron axes now. I don't need that right now, so I could put that there. Along with the stone pickaxe. This stone pickaxe and the other one that I grabbed. I actually need to make a shovel and another pick, because this pick is pretty well dead. Um, and I don't know why my um, UI wasn't working properly um, with the F1 because I can just press F1 and it turns off and on. But for some reason it wasn't working properly. And so all I was getting was the F3 mode even when I was pressing F F1. So it really did not help me very much about what I was doing. Um, and it just was confusing. Confusing me more than more than it probably should have. Um, so I'm going to let the rest of this iron smelt. I'm also going to sleep because it is nighttime. And after that, I am going to see if there's something else we want to do during this episode that doesn't involve so much, so much um, death and destruction. So we do have, still have that iron smelting. Um, and then after that, I'm going to smelt this raw copper that I also got, even though I won't use it. Um, but what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm thinking I'm actually going to go back down here to the lower level. Um, I really didn't want to do more work with this down here, but I think I might anyways. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is I am just going to, eh, maybe not. I was going to just dig up, but as last episode proved, I don't know where exactly the sand is almost suffocated in the sand um so actually i might hold off on that um i'm not going back down there this episode um however i'm going to fill this in if i had any any more stone i was going to fill this in <laughs> um but i'm just going to fill that in so i don't have to deal with that water for now um but next episode I think next episode, it's going to be one of the next ones, I'm going to do just a caving, just a caving episode. I think that that would be good for me. I might even hone in my skills enough to get diamonds. That would be helpful. Um, but uh, we're going to do that. Uh, so while I'm waiting for stuff to smell, I'm thinking I'm just going to pass the time by going and putting more bread in the uh, uh, the death death uh, counter because I haven't done that yet since I died, um, and it should be two left I believe yeah two deaths, and also I'll do the water bucket challenge here in a second so let's go do that right away. So what we're gonna go do is we're going to put the two bread in the death counter, and then I will also be ready to do the water bucket challenge while that iron is smelting so while while we're working our way over that to that i did want to let you guys know that um i am excited to hone in my skills a little bit with maybe this potential caving episode just because it is something that is indeed very necessary um in in terms of what i need to do for for the uh, series as a whole, I need to get diamonds at some point. So 
I can hold my skills and do diamond and do diamond mining mining at the same time, which is always good. Um, and then we can we can get ready to uh, I don't know maybe even get a chanting set up before the base is even done. That would be cool. Um, and I am well aware that base episode after base episode in terms of progress work is a little stale and boring. So I'm trying to maybe put up a little bit of some variety because I am here to entertain. That's the whole point of my channel. And so I am wanting to do that. Um, so from here, as we jump right next to the uh, broken cobblestone generator and make the, the clutch, by the way, um, I've been getting better at it, which is exciting. Um, we're going to do this. We're going to throw the raw copper into the... Failed that one. Um, raw copper into the furnace because the iron should be done by now. Um, and we are going to see what else we want to do in this episode. And hopefully something a little bit more productive than find a cave, get iron, and then that's about it. So as we're going, our following our way down here, just going to fall in the water so I don't take any more damage than I already have taken. Um, let's just get to the furnace. If I could jump on blocks that would be helpful <laughs> okay 26 iron perfect we got a total of 38 that's good that's not what i wanted to do um there's the rock copper we'll put that there we'll put that there let's take the iron to our valuables chest up uh crap fell down um to the valuables chest up by the barn and then after that I think I'm going to want to try to get the cobblestone generator fixed once and for all and prevent myself from doing stump something stupid and breaking it again. So I will see you guys there in a couple seconds. So we are taking this lava bucket back to the stone generator to see if we can get it fixed for hopefully the last time. I've had it break three times in the last two episodes. So I'm thinking that if I don't get this fixed in this episode, or it breaks again, very shortly, I'm thinking I might have to go back to the drawing board and find a better way to do this. This is what, for up, other than one little piece of advice from my friend Ethan, this is all just my design. So maybe I have to look at maybe doing a design that's not just mine. Um, I don't know. We're gonna try it one last time, see what happens. Um, because quite frankly, I need this generator to work for the, for some of what I'm doing with the base later on. Probably not la next episode, because like I've said a couple times now, it's probably getting redundant. I'm sorry about that. I'm probably going to do a, um, going to do some sort of, some sort of caving epi episode next. However, I'm going to move this for the time being this cobblestone monstrosity um, because I don't have the time nor the patience to get rid of the obsidian which is where the uh, where the lava would have to go so I'm just gonna get rid of this cobblestone real quick and then we'll find a new location for this cobblestone generator so I'm just moving it just barely over a little bit even closer to a little jump uh, tower and I'm going to actually make it larger and see if that makes any any difference with uh not having it not break um how many blocks is that one two three four and that's six okay well we'll just do we'll just do it here just finish the square or the rectangle rather um okay so just need to get rid of these grass blocks in here and in here and then and I'm just gonna fill in the holes here just so that it looks a little bit nicer and then we'll try try this so we'll go lava in the center here on this as close to the center as I can with an even number of an even number of blocks, and then we'll come over here to water source. Oh, 
and we will take some water from over here and then we'll see what we can do. Um, I actually haven't been on this angle of, or this side rather, of the viewing platform and this hill. Um, I was going to do some terraforming, I'm not now, and I didn't know that there was a cave here. And there's some coal, so we'll definitely have to look into this later. Maybe this will be our starting off spot from the caving episode next that we're doing next episode. That might be a good spot to, to start, I think. Um, but with that said, I'm going to place this water here. And it looks like we might be on to a winner. No, we're not. It's got to be one up, doesn't it? And then if I were to stand here. There we are. Okay. It's looking like they, we've got a cobblestone generator. Um, so that's good. Uh, ooh, this is going to be an issue. Immediately it's going to be an issue. I'm going to get burnt. Um, we've got to, got to have a way to direct this. Um, do I put this here? And where this is stacked, I will know not to stand. So if I do that, how's that? What's, what happens if I do that? Perfect. I think we've got a working cobblestone generator. It's about time. Um, what I'm probably going to do off camera, or maybe right now I might have enough cobblestone already. Um, I'm going to stack. I don't have enough, but I'm going to stack the sides of this cobblestone generator just so that I know where to stand and where not to. I feel like that would be helpful so I don't ruin it again. Um, but I think that that might be all that I have time for today. I do appreciate um, do appreciate your guys' uh, support, especially over the last four or five episodes. It's been very, very helpful. Um, and I do, I do enjoy reading through your comments and your feedback. Um, so keep them coming. I do enjoy it, and it's very helpful. And um, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Adios.